we're here in the Vale and Summit Zone in East Vale, and I'm on an east-facing slope here near Treeline. And Saturday we had a high avalanche danger. We hadn't really needed to dig a lot of pits to know what was going on. Lots of collapsing. Uh, the past few days you could look around and see recent natural avalanches. We're at a time period now where the uh, danger, the avalanche danger, is dropping. But it doesn't mean the size of the avalanche is decreasing. If you trigger an avalanche, it's still going to be just as large or maybe even larger than it was on Sunday. But having a look at the snowpack here, we'll do an extended column test. Uh, we still have some faster snow down here near the ground. Uh, it seems to have gained a little bit of strength, but we'll see what we see in this test here. So, the results in this test here, and the reason why is we just have this really strong slab here. So, uh, the, the strength of the slab and the, the thickness of the slab is a good thing for not triggering an avalanche, but also if you do trigger an avalanche, there's a lot of snow to come down. So we'll keep an eye on it. There's, um, this is not representative of the, of the whole zone. We have a lot thinner areas with a thinner snowpack where uh, people sk skiing or snowmobiling will be this close to the weak layer below and they'll be able to trigger a large avalanche. So I'm here around Montezuma. It's uh, the east side of the Vail Summit Zone. Uh, yesterday we were on the far west side um, and want to compare the two snowpacks from uh, either side of the zone. It's got a pretty thick slab here. We've got fists, a forefinger, one finger, pencil, and then down here is our, our facet layer. Compared to the east side or the west side of the zone yesterday, yeah, this facet layer is quite a bit softer, less cohesive facet snow here, and then got some harder facet snow at the ground. I did a couple of compression tests and got some hard results. So. so I'm here on a south facing slope, uh, again the Vail Summit Zone, uh, east side of the zone near Montezuma. And uh, having a look at south facing slopes because uh, the snowpack structure is quite similar to some of our shady aspects right now, like north and northeast. So on these southerly slopes, we do have this persistent slab structure as well. We have a pretty stout slab here and then weak snow underneath at the ground. So I'm just wrapping up two days of field work here. Uh, one on the west side of the Vail Summit Zone and one on the east side of the Vail Summit Zone. And I mostly dug around near treeline terrains. But for near treeline, the uh, similarities we're seeing between the two sides of the zone is a fairly strong snowpack. The snowpack is greatly improved um, from two weeks or a week ago um, following the storm. What we have is a strong slab in many places. And everywhere we still have this weak layer at the ground, but it's hard to trigger. Um, you could definitely still trigger a large avalanche, make no mistake about it. And in some of these places where the slab is really thin, <coughs> rocky places, really steep slopes, uh, you'll be able to affect that weak layer and possibly trigger one of these avalanches. But in general, um, we have moderate danger, uh, things are looking better, and uh, we'll see how the next storm, next set of storms uh, comes through. We have uh, po possibly a big storm over Christmas and things can change then and we you know we could see a reactivation of uh, the weak layer at the ground.